took the PTO off, tractor's turned off, um, because I'm going to get inside it with my trusty fork, because, oh, 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 oh. there is some monkey silage still, so this is what inside a feeder wagon looks like, if anyone has ever been in one, or never been in one, sorry, um, yeah, just wants clearing out because all of that is a bit dirty. <laughs> In I get. Ooh, that was close, very close to the blade then. So. Oh. To the first cut clamp and uh, start, there and work this way start there. Yeah, not going to cut too much off because we only need about just over a ton, I think, because we're feeding every other day. Um, because otherwise, the feeder just won't spit it out. And then, um, yeah, we don't need too much. Oh. It looks dry, fibery. Chocolate's not very good. <laughs> oh no. It feels quite wet actually. No surface mold but something. And then what just across? Why is it doubled up? Size is quite big, are they maybe? I don't know. I can't remember. 
There's no mould. Um, this isn't exactly great stuff, um, so we're just getting another grab now. And we don't have a good shear grab. And it's a bit wet. It almost took a nice shear grab then. But it doesn't smell terrible. It's all stalky. It's not very good, um, to be honest. But there's not really anything we can do. We've made it now. And we're suffering for having a bad spring, essentially. Um, see how we go. Keep feeding it, it might get a bit better as we get into the clump. I must admit, it does look better when it's in the feeder wagon getting chopped up because, God, the chop length wasn't amazing, but that's the problem with forage boxes is you don't get a good chop length when you're chopping grass that's too long. Um, also, we're dealing with our fairly rubbish shear grab um, because our Merlot one, we've not repaired it yet. Bit of a ramp now at the front, and we managed to actually get a shear grab width. But it's a bit, it's a bit better rolled further down. Uh, it's actually not a terrible chop length either there, and it's not terribly smelling. But it could be better. But it's um, is what it is. So yeah, once we've tidied up this face, we'll uh, we'll have a proper idea of what it's like. But we'll have to just see. Time to feed it out. Um, James is just going to feed it out. Now he's playing with an apple. And, uh, and then we're going to bring the cows in and see what they think to this first cut. Because, I mean, I don't know what to think. It's, it's okay. I see it definitely gets better as you go further into it because we did. you can see that like, the top grab is like rubbish. Um, but then as you get into it, it does get better. Yeah, I probably will as well um, show you what the like proteins are and uh, everything like that because it's uh, and the energy and stuff like that. But it's, it's going to make okay buffer feed, which is what we're doing now. So, but when we talk about first cut, first cut is normally the first cut of grass that you take, hence first cut, and it needs to be like really good stuff. It's normally like full of energy because it's had fertilizer in the spring, um, so it's normally your best crop of grass and. Um, well, for this year because it's been so wet and for us we had to leave it for so long um it takes it takes uh, it takes all the goodness out of it so yeah we're just sort of uh my second cut and third cut are definitely better than my fourth cut uh, my fir first cut if i can speak so james is just feeding out now just gotta go really probably just run with the pusher it smells terrible. But, uh, managing to get a 
bit out. The problem is, we don't want to feed them too much and waste it. And then uh, we also want to make sure to seal the grass outside. So we're just going to give them one ton over two days. Because uh, there's like 64 cows now that I think of calves. So yeah, it is, the purpose is to just buffer feed them. considering it's not like a conveyor or anything like that so uh, pretty tough for that uh, it's exciting to get the cows in now and see uh, see what they do with it see if they like it see if they don't like it hopefully they do <laughs> see if they want it they might not want it so uh no they definitely will uh, right the cows have uh, come in for the buffer feed they are uh, heads down giving their way through it so it can't be terrible stuff i don't know uh, we'll have to see how it reflects in the milk and everything else, but yeah, they're having a, a good route through. Any good? No? Yeah? Yeah? No? Dracking girls. Right, Bamba, yours is the only opinion that matters. Is it good silage? Is it good silage? I'd say it is because you're just eating it out of my hand. Is it good silage? Can you get enough of it? Bambi? No, that bit's not good. You don't know what to do. I don't know if there's any good. So we did bring the girls up for a buffer feed at about two o'clock. Started milking them at about four. Um, so we got a couple of hours there in front of the feed passage. And they actually ate more than we thought they would. Um, so we fed like a ton. So that could do them two days because um, the feeder wagon wouldn't do 500 kilograms really. Um, so yeah. And they've eaten quite a lot, which is maybe an indication that they're not eating the dry matter in the grass or I'm not giving them enough. Um, so all things to look at, but you can sort of see where they have grazed. And then I'm giving them a fresh bit now to go out to after milking. So that's what I'm doing uh, doing now. So just giving them a bit more. And then tomorrow we'll milk them, we'll put them back out in the grass straight away. And then we'll bring them again in again at about half one. So uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see a reflection in the milk and in the uh, condition of the cows. Not that they're in bad condition or anything. It's just about getting them nailed on perfect for ready for when we start breeding, because that is quicker well quicker closer than you actually think so yeah uh, november time so yeah so i just thought i'd film my outro it's a lovely sunny october day and uh we have had the cows in at night um I'm trying to think now probably for about i don't know a week maybe i don't know time goes so quick uh so we've been feeding them uh, a bigger ration for the night and uh, this is the clamp now so like i said in the video it does look it does get better as you get into it so and also we got the shear grab back on the merlot so that's good and that's a nice nice tight face uh it's quite annoying to keep seeing like little bits of soil uh, 
which isn't great. But yeah, it's uh, it's it's slightly soft on the top, but then it's not too bad going down the clamp. So uh, yeah, and there's not too much waste. There's a bit light in the corners, which is to be expected. Um, so I'm just about to feed out now uh, for tonight's feed. And uh, yeah, get the there. that corner's gone to a bit a bit mush, but we expected that as well. So no, it's uh, it's it's quite a good clamp, really. It's. Uh, but I think when we when we get bring the cows in, um, we'll shut that off because it's not really high in protein. It's only about 9.5 or something in protein, which isn't amazing. But it's good buffer feed when they're out on the grass. And um, yeah, and then we're going to shift on to the uh, other clamp and hopefully seal that one up um, as best we can. So yeah, I uh, thought I'd just give you that little brief update and uh, I'll leave that video there. So thank you all for watching. Please do go and like and subscribe. Uh, appreciate it when you get a couple more subscribers every video and stuff like that so um yeah keep going with it keep trying to make sure i actually post these videos because i always even filming and like, i always forget to edit it and stuff like that so yeah like i say this clamp's been open <laughs> a couple a while now but yeah here's the video so yeah um hope you all enjoyed it thanks for watching goodbye